Ahoy! Today we're taking a first look at Gilgamesh on the Smite PTS. We're in game now. We're gonna just uh, jungle around with him a little bit and just have a little bit of look how his abilities work and everything. And uh, this is his one. This is this steroid as well as slow to enemies. So that's what you're going to be working with uh, when it comes to chasing and engaging. Uh, leveling it reduces the cooldown, which is really cool. I want to see how much damage I do right here. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so you clear these pretty quickly. And uh, now we get to the ability that everyone really wants to see. And that's the drop kick. Let's see if we can get a drop kick into tower here that draws right on the tower line. Let's go. That feels so nice. It's such a long kick. It's such a long range. And uh, now I'm going to see how long I can keep the, the passive up here. So this is the, oh, the, the one up, the steroid. So this is 20 extra damage on every hit. And as long as I keep hitting them here, it'll keep going. And it has a cap of 12 seconds. Uh, and so far, it's possible to clear a whole wave with it relatively easily. But then, yeah, it'll run out at the very end of the wave. We also have the new vines here. Uh, these have two health points. Basic attack them, they go down. That's that. That's relatively simple. Uh, if I drop kick these, oh, oh, okay. So I was very interested in that. So this actually does hit minions, and let's see. So a leap here, hard engage. It gives us a buff. Gives us a life steal for our teammates. I think it should give us life steal for ourselves as well. But I think I didn't see a heal just then. Uh, let's kick a minion at him. Does that work? Oh, <laughs> didn't reach the range. But I think it works because you can kick the minions, so that's good. Okay, slow him down here and then we can kind of stick to him. It's the one. Okay, that feels great. His kit is very, very easy to use. Like, you just use it once and you, you have a feel for it, I would say. Um, yeah, I want to see what happens if the Hornbutt is in that wave there. Because I want to use the... Uh, the wave's too pushed up. Right, I, can, I can technically I can use the Hornbutt to, to push in the wave. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. Ah, I got too quick, but... Nah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I think, uh, like, you know, if the enemy tries to juke your drop kick, it's going to be relatively hard to get an angle to push them into the wave. Uh, so that's something worth keeping in mind. Um, but it does it does feel good. Here's another vine. As a damaging ability. But, like, getting a good angle is hard. It's kind of the same as with Anhar, I suppose, where you, like... Uh, you you want to make sure that you get in a position where you can benefit from the CC that follows up afterwards. So I'm going to level the one here in the jungle. Um, I think this is just because, you know, it, it scales down in cooldown and it has more sticking power. You can obviously level the other abilities as well. You can especially level the two for like the maximum drop kick damage, uh, so to speak. But I think the one is, yeah, good for jungle clearing because it hits the whole jungle and it goes down in cooldown and you get more damage doing it so like every hit he does uh, yeah roughly one and a half times the normal damage with that that's a pretty good damage increase and we're gonna get a ninja tower here can obviously go either really but that's just what i want to try here and now what i want to try even more is the ultra we're gonna pick up the speed buff here and then we'll have a look at that ult at that cage and how you pull enemies back into it so i can also kick through these yeah Interesting enough, it took the big one because the other ones were killed by the kick itself. Um, let's see what that means for us. So here, uh, I'm trying on the next wave. Okay, I, I wonder what will happen if I if I do the drop kick here and Hunbat is right there. Let's go. Okay, it kicks Hunbat. It, it definitely prioritizes God. Let's ult him here. There's the circle, and well, I didn't even pull him back in when I hit him there, but I guess he was too far in already. I'm not sure. Interesting. I'll figure out some more about that. Because uh, I wanted to see the pull mechanic of it and I didn't actually see the pull there. The vines respawn here, the vines that I took down before. They uh, respawn whenever you... Uh, or whenever the camp respawns. You have to clear the camp to get them to respawn. Uh, if you don't want them to respawn, don't clear the camp, I suppose. <laughs> but they despawn after 15 minutes anyways. Okay, let's jump on these with this as well to see if I get the life still buff. Wait, this is confusing. Is that life steal from my... Yeah, it must be life steal from my basics there. Is that what, what else would that heal be? But it, it's so delayed. I guess it's a ping thing. But let me check what the combat looks like there. Hmm, can't tell. Uh, let's try it again with these guys. 
Yeah, okay. So the life still does properly, so. That's, that's good to know, and uh, I think pretty important as well. In terms of leveling order, I haven't quite looked into it all too much. Um, the old, I think. Well, let's have a quick look. Oh, it does increase all the damage of the ultimate. That, that is interesting. Mm, it could be worth it. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh, I can just leap down here and get the ult. Oh, wow. Wait, something's off. She just casually walked out of it. Oh, wait. No. I placed the ult. Okay, the ult is not... Um, it's not around you. It's I, I, should, I should put it on a quick cast. I, I just assumed that would be just be land around you, and this is the second time they kind of had to throw me off. I was trying to get behind him. I should have probably jumped. Oh, I can still jump on him. Last drop kicks. This is like um, another thing to keep in mind. Like if you if you're playing uh, soul lane against them, I suppose that uh, it's kind of a similar punish to to your Kuzumbo and so on, where uh, you can very easily get drop kicked in the wrong direction if you don't watch out. If you get too close to that tower, so that is definitely something worth keeping in mind. I'm just gonna go with like a typical jungle bruiser build here with AA. To some degree, I think that would work very well for him overall. Just having that damage, having that uh, having that attack speed to benefit both his ability damage as well as his one. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not sure if it's worth leveling the one more first or the two in in terms of well, ability clear for example, and just overall damage output. Okay, let's let's do this all properly. Um, I'm gonna level it as well. Why not? Oh, it's actually... <laughs> it's a raw, it's not that easy to stick to him. <laughs> okay, so like the, the two, uh, the one runs out pretty quickly if you don't, you know, if you're not in a position to, to follow it up. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like you know, kind of want Frostbawn on him or I want to save him, maybe play some Katana. Or maybe some, maybe some other movement speed items, maybe you just want like a Witch Blade, Wing Blade, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put the ult down. Oh, maybe not, she's gonna die too quickly, I have to use it here. <laughs> okay, it kind of looks funny if they don't get drop kicked back, they just fall down. It's also interesting. I want to gank someone just to, uh, just to see this ult here. Oh wow, you have a massive range to put this down. Oh, so, okay, ah, oh, that. Okay, the knockback seems to be a little weird. It doesn't seem to, like, consistently happen because of ping. So maybe this is a ping issue, maybe you just shouldn't use the gear gun or ping. But um, the knockback seems to have this odd delay when they walk out of it. Definitely do not like. It's kind of interesting, if you're building a tank here, it might be worth just engaging by walking into the enemy and not using the buff of your three, which is massive. Like, look at this. Like, it gives you so many stats. Like, it gives you that damage, the lifesteal movement speed. Um, but it might be worth not engaging with that. Oh, this time I did the small. Okay, so sometimes... Hmm, I'm not quite sure how it prioritizes. Um, just so you have the leap to follow up if the enemy uses an escape. Uh, and then have your enemy... Uh, and then have your allies chasing down. But it's a bit wonky, I would say. It's a bit of a weird feeling one. And there we go. Alright, we have the almost max on drop kit now. But yeah, I think the one is just too good in terms of early damage output in combination with the CC that you still kind of want to prioritize it. See, so you can fix him long enough without passive. Uh, no, he walked forward, nice. <laughs> Very easy. I would actually like to see him walk backwards and see if I can just chase him if he uses his movement speed because he is slowed for um, three seconds, I think. Oh, don't have enough mana. I was gonna use a combo here, but I can't. Ah, should have not killed him there, then I could have gotten the, the self fruit thing. But yeah, you have plenty of time to kill enemies in that in that circle, I would say. If they don't have anything to get out, then um, yeah, they're gonna suffer for a long time. <laughs> should we just get should we just get frostbound here? I think we just get a pop frostbound. We just get uh ah, that's not working. Let's get some sticking power that way. And we also get a blink. 
I, I'm not quite sure if you really want blink on him. Um, obviously, otherwise it could go beats here as well. Uh, but I think it could still be nice as like a, a secondary engage tool uh, or escape tool. Yeah, I, I think I think maybe you don't even level the old. Maybe you use the utility of the old and you level the the two instead, or maybe even the three. Maybe big maybe. Oh oh, it has a it has a target as well for the drop kick. That's interesting. How does it hit guards over minions then? So it seems to have a target, but also prioritizes certain targets over others. Uh, maybe we can see that with a two here. Yeah, so it, it changes between the, the targets. Oh, right here, didn't do that. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, see, the passive's up here. I haven't even done that. Look, you can actually see it on the map. I didn't realize that you can just see it on the map walking around. Um, let's, let's throw my victor as well. Oh, I, okay, I, I messed it up again. Uh, I can get it anyways, but... Oh, never mind, I can't. Uh, I I did not realize. I, I it seemed it feels so natural to me that this would be an ability that you place on yourself, but it actually has a target on you if you throw it forward or have to look down to put it on yourself, which is stronger. But it just like it's not something that comes naturally. Oh, see, if I picked this up before and this would have actually been really good, I would have just gotten my frostbone tier one for free, so that would have been uh, nice. <laughs> I could have worked with that. But like this has some extra gold slash slash extra power depending on what I want to build, depending on what I want to use it for. Alright, so given that uh, you can drop kick enemies with the two, like wherever you want to put them, uh, and this works on, on camps and on waves as well, I would say uh, you're probably best off, or, or, yeah, maybe, maybe best off leveling the two in uh, solo first, because you can just clear the wave with the drop kick. And it's a huge punish for enemy guards that uh, walk up to you. I want a guard in a wave. Give me a guard in a wave just so I can see what the, the drop kick prioritization is then. Is there a guard here? Yes. Okay. Oh, I get to get to. Uh, just walked in front of that wave. Just trying to get. Maybe I can get Chiron to attack. Yes, he went in. Like, Ah, just died so quick. Uh, the drug kick. I, I, I'm not able to do the thing I want to do. I can show you the voice pick in between, though. I should show you what part of the voice pick is as well. Oh, that is actually not that strong in terms of clear. Huh, I thought that would do more damage late game. So you can see uh, two emotes there as well. That was his wave, obviously. Wait. Oh, what am I doing? What are, what are these special social emotes here? Wave. This. Clap is this. Alright, let's try kicking one guard into the other. Oh yeah, that's the big one. <laughs> that is how you want it. Let's, yeah, here. No, let's try and stick to him. Well, you can actually stick to him pretty well here. If you have Frostborn, you can stick to them pretty well if they keep attacking you. That's good. So that's definitely a big threat for the enemy. Okay, before we before we drop out of this, we do want to... You know, just get a sledge. Let's just work with what we're given here, but uh, we want to see the kick against the wall in the ult. That's what I want to see. An enemy has been slain. Strong None stand before you attack. Retreat! Okay. Gank. I like the voice pack. It is not like super unique, I would say, but well fought. It does what it needs to do, you know? <laughs> that's that's all I'll say on it. Um not the best voice pick in the game or something, I would say. At least from the lines I've found so far, but Usually the really good voice packs are on the skins anyway, so no surprise there. All right, give me an enemy just to kick him into the wall. None doubt your strength. None doubt your no. <laughs> I misplaced it again. It's, it really does not. It really does not compute in my brain. 
This is gonna take me a lot of games to learn. Um, well, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that later, I suppose. So it, all it does is it, it, it knocks them against the wall in the ultimate and then pushes them back, which it's going to be interesting uh, for certain scenarios. I don't know, for example, what happens if you kick them into it from outside the wall, things like that. Uh, I kind of want to box it in this just to get the lifesteal. Uh, okay, the circle is relatively small. It's not that easy to, to um, box them in that and get that effect. I thought it would be a little bit easier, but you know, if the, if the enemy runs out, which they likely will, uh, it's over relatively soon. You know what, we'll, we'll just wait out one more ult and then I'll try it with that one again. An ally a the hard way. Take so the second artifact, I don't think I'll get this game, but you can actually get a, a second free item uh, if you have a team fight and you, you kill or assist on three of the enemies. Oh, you see that there? It was a thunderbolt up in the sky, so they have like thunder on this side of the map now. I set my piece about the skybox. We're not gonna do it in the Gilgamesh uh, look, but yeah, it's it's kind of kind of dark now. Kind of very much. Okay, well, give me six seconds here, four seconds. I, I have to kick someone in a wall, and it's gonna be you. And this time, not misplacing the ult. Nah, great. She just ended up in that wall anyways. But it would have been the same thing. Um, I had to do it quickly because Guan would have killed him otherwise. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we would drop out of it here. Everything else we do in later games where I'll have more of a look at her in some real game scenarios uh, at him. Uh, see how he does in jungle and in solo. So far his kit feels really good, really straightforward, clean. Um, yeah, it's, it's very simple to pick up, I would say, and everything that's slightly complex, I suppose, is tied to the ultimate. Uh, but even that is, is very easy to learn, and we'll have a look at the defeat screen as well, just to see what that looks like. Oh, that's where that's where the Sun Wukong Bull came in, that they found in data mining. It wasn't actually... It wasn't actually anywhere else. It was in the, in the defeat screen. Um, okay, uh, as I always keep in mind that, you know, this game is not representative of how he will perform or anything. Uh, it's actually interesting because I thought that his 2 would do more damage on waves, so we'll really see uh, how he survives the early solo stages. But we'll find that out later. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button and maybe the bell. And I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.